In HubSpot, we can look at revenue attribution several different ways. It depends on the goal that we're going for. So we actually created this handy graphic to show how each option works. So this is an overview of all of the ways that we can look at revenue attribution in HubSpot. The most common one that is easiest, simplest to start with to just give you a really holistic view of your marketing activities would be the linear attribution model. And here HubSpot is assigning the same weight to all interactions across the, the buying journey. So that one is illustrated here. The next most common ones are first interaction and last interaction. So if you're interested in identifying the value of top of funnel activities, what's, how are people getting to know your brand or coming into your funnel in the first place? We would wanna look at um, a first interaction revenue attribution model. If you're interested in seeing which type of activities are really driving the bottom of the funnel for deal creation or actual close one revenue most closely, that would be the last interaction model. And then there are some other interesting ways to pull this data. I would say the least common ones are up here across the top. So we can look at a U-shaped model. Um, this would be a good model to use if you're looking for how to generate a lot of leads to nurture later. Um, W-shaped, this one is really great for really fast sales cycles. So if um, someone goes from content contact create to deal create to close one really quickly, then we can look at W shaped because then we're assigning the most weight to those specific points that have the highest influence. We can also do um, time decay models. That's really helpful for things like re-engagement campaigns. If you've got contacts that have been in your database for a long time. Um, another thing would be kind of like upsell, cross-sell opportunities. We can weight the interactions um, in a time decay model. And then you've got J-shaped and inverse J-shaped. So um, this inverse J-shaped is actually the newest model that's available in HubSpot. And this inverse one would assign the, the highest weight to the first interaction. And then you're just mirroring it for J-shaped. So the highest weight is assigned to the deal creation. So, um, Depending on any given client's goals and what their database history looks like, we can choose a model that's going to be effective for giving them the information that they need to optimize their marketing campaigns.